Hi guys, we're here in Bristol with Davy Knowles, um, originally from around the UK, uh, moved to Chicago and is now back for a little tour. Um, he's a PRS player, got some really cool stuff, so we're going to chat about guitars for a while. This is a pretty good talking point. Let's, yeah. uh, shall we have a look at your number one? This has got a pretty sure. cool story, hasn't it? Yeah, this is, this is Ellie. This is um, a prototype that Paul made. Uh, for himself, uh, and this was his guitar for a little while uh, until I, I robbed him of it. <laughs> um, How did he take that? <laughs> he came and sat in with us actually, well, uh, a good few years ago now, about 2009, something yeah. like that. And uh, we were playing in Virginia, he came and sat in and he announced over the microphone that he thought that this was my guitar and he gave it to me. Which was very, very nice of him. That um, doesn't happen every day, does it? Well, no, I wish it did. That'd be good, <laughs> wouldn't it? I'd have a lot more yeah, guitars. Right. But no, um, it's really, really lovely of him, and it, it means the world to me having this thing. I kind of grew up idolising PRS, and so uh, to get this one here, and it's been my main one ever since. I mean, it's got a few battle scars on it. I'm sure a few people are kind of uh, umming and ahhing at the moment, but it's it's a lovely, lovely piece of kit. That's what they're built for, isn't it? You know, that, that's the one thing I try to emphasise as much as I can with these instruments. Is they look like a work of art, of course, they're, yeah. they're beautiful, uh, but for me, they're some of the most uh, just. Uh, practical instruments out there. Yeah, absolutely. It's never let me down. It's a, it's a, a wonderful piece of kit, and yeah. it gets used um, as such. Yeah, mm. we can see there. You know, there are a fair few battle scars on it. it proves it's been played. We've yeah. got. If we can get a little close up here, yeah, so true. many of the guys on the group are going to know that we've had this classic <laughs> debate about whether or not to go with cream or black pickup rings. You can see that in this instance, Davey has chosen both. Yeah, they sound a lot better when you do it like this. You know, you get the best the best yeah. of both worlds. Always, Absolutely, don't you? yeah. No, um, finally the the pickup ring gave up the ghost last night and I had to improvise with a little bit of tape. Um, but it's alright, it's part of it isn't it? Whatever does the job. I over tightened the screws, I know don't shout at me but it's it's what happened. What stays on the, what happens on the road stays on the road I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, the woods on this are quite special aren't they? Yeah, yeah it's lovely. So this is, it's a mahogany back. Yeah. Uh, the uh, top is obviously maple but it's from that Stradivarius maple. Uh, I believe this is yeah, so it's what the story that I have heard is that he went and with a wood buyer and thinks he's found the forest at Stradivarius, yeah. cut down the maple from. So the story goes. I mean, how do you know? <laughs> I mean, he might have lived nearby, but you know, I don't know. He knows more than I do, obviously. It's as good a guess as any, I suppose, isn't it? You know, and um, from what I can tell, it's just very, very old, very, very wide flamed maple. Yeah. 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 It's a thing of beauty. It's lovely, it's lovely, and for so, I think the, the dye in this is like one of the hand rub dyes he was nice. trying, you know, one of the powdery kind of ones rather yep. than the... And then um, bowling ball varnish he was trying on <laughs> it, to see if how the lacquer was, I mean it's got to be hard wearing, right? Yeah. So yeah. it has been, it's been pretty good. Um, Excellent. And then the neck is a solid lump of Brazilian rosewood, really, really dark Brazilian rosewood, and yep. it actually says in the neck pickup cavity, yeah, cavity, it's all pencil there. Um, it's a custom mm. car as well, isn't it? It's all carved yeah, by yeah. hand, all done spec. I think so. It's it's not it's not a production car. Feels quite similar to Wide Fat, but just a mm. little bit more, a little bit more custom. I think you know more about this than <laughs> I do. Yeah. I, um, to me, it's a very flat kind of board, which I yeah. like, and, and a lovely vintage feeling. You know, fairly large neck on it. There's no truss rod. It's a strip of carbon graphite that he was messing with. Um, yeah. So prototyping quite a few senses of the word, isn't yeah, it? As yeah, it says yeah. on the back, okay, prototype probably, number two, I think we've got here. Back, yeah. Can we get a little look? Yeah. The birthday on it. And yeah. Birthday, prototype. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely piece of kit. Anyway. It's quite special. It's, it means the world to me, having this thing. It really does. Um, uh, pickups are uh, a 5815 in the neck, which I accidentally wired to be coil tapped all the time. <laughs> Um, and it sounds really good to me. I like it. And then this is a, a secret pickup, apparently. Okay. I, I don't we, know. We won't much. say any more. Sounds really nice. Yeah. Makes it it, like it does sound very nice. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure we'll hear a bit more of that later. Sure. But those aren't the pickups that came in it originally, were they? No. So. The original ones were 5708 PFs, which I believe because they were made for Peter Frampton. Yeah. And so they were Peter's pickups Paul had in here. And they were great. They're still, they're still great. It's just, uh, just trying these out really. Excellent. Here's the neck pickup.
reverb and a grunt. And then the uh, middle. And then bridge. Let's have a look at number two, shall we? Sure, if it's yeah. fair to call it number two. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is kind of, I mean, it's it's almost like a spare slash um, kind of designated for a few tunes that are, are tuned down a whole step. Yeah. So it's got heavier strings on it. There are 11 Daddario strings, use Daddarios, and uh, 11s on here. Um, but there's like a separate. I forget what they're called, but there's a separate set for tuning down the tension okay, or something. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is a custom jobby that they built me. Uh, and I basically asked if they could make me a Billy Gibbons machine. Where it was just... Say no more, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super simple rock and roll machine. And uh, I, they, they, they came up with this and it's just stunning. Um, so it's a, based on a McCarty. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, a 5815 that they just sent okay. over to me in the, in the bridge, but it came with a 5708. Yep. And for a little while I had a Kent Armstrong P90 in there, Okay. Uh, which was really cool too. Yeah, a little bit um, different. Yeah, yeah, trying it. So yeah, this is tuned down. I've actually dropped it down to C as well. It's a very dynamic pickup, especially in the bridge position as well, isn't it? It Great. suits it really, really well. Yeah, it's a fab, fab piece of kit. Excellent. So that yeah. control, it's, we had a guy ask earlier, seeing a picture that you put on Facebook earlier, that he's right. asked if it was anything fancy, like a volume with a push-pull for access to the tone, but it's just straight, simple volume. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't move. It's not supposed to, anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice and simple. Yeah. Does the job. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, and just so everyone's got a point of reference, I'm ren running this through a, a Fender. Come, out, come over and have a look at the yeah, app. Yeah, Fender DeVille. It's a rented uh, amp, I don't f can't flow with my stuff. Um, so yeah, it's great. Lovely piece of kit. So um, do you use something similar to the DeVille when you're back home? Or I've got you... a custom built um, Blue Dotone. Okay. Which is um, Brandon Montgomery. He's kind of one of the Dumble aficionado chaps. Right. And I think it's really unfair that he, get, he gets you know just that reputation. Yeah. I think he's an astounding builder of all sorts. And so he okay. built... I was using his amp for a while, which was based on the Dumbly thing, and then um, he built me this 30 watt combo, which is supposed to be a cross between a Dumble and a Del Tweed Deluxe, like, like a like a louder Tweed Deluxe, I guess. Great. And it's it's a wonderful piece of kit. So normally yeah. I'm, I'm playing that. Yeah. It's not a formula that can go easily wrong, I suppose, is it? No, no, no. Well, that's the plan really. Is just to make sure I, I, I have stuff that makes me sound as good as I possibly can, oh, yeah, uh, there you so go. that my mistakes sound better. But. Um, that's all you can hope for. Yeah. And I've got this, this pedal board here. So what are we looking at here? There's not, there's not a lot going on here, is it? It's nice not a lot simple. going on. And normally back home, again, I've got a bit more going on. But this is just a fly rig. Yeah. So, um, Boss Tuner. Does what it says on the Yeah, team. it's great. And then I've got this octave pedal, uh, which is uh, brilliant. Sounds nice, big and fat. Nice. Uh, JHS Moonshine Overdrive. I just feel like yeah. it's... It's a great all-purpose jobby that um, yeah. gets me out of trouble with whatever amp I'm using, really. It's the secret sauce pedal, isn't it? It's, the it's, it's really good. Yeah. And then this chase tone pedal on top, yep. that, that um, power supply there is uh, an EP Echoplex booster uh, preamp thing. And I've set it at pretty much Unity, and it's just okay. on all the time. Yep. And then the Super Ego pedal, I don't know, I'm sure people have had a, a good engine, mess. yeah. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's just good for a bit of, bit of fun. Yeah. Just just have kind of a bit of a drone. Yeah. Set that up properly, but yeah, it's um, sounds really good. It's 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 just a, a dead easy kind of yeah, take it anywhere kind of rig. Great. Yeah. Well, oh, looking forward to hearing it all in action. Thanks, Thanks very, very much, much for taking the time. Oh, with it's us. my pleasure. My pleasure. It's good to stalk the stalk the, the PRS uh, guitar owners. Uh, you can't complain, can you? It's lovely, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. Great. Alright, well thanks very much. Oh, thanks for having me. Cheers.